Nick here, and the brain has been an absolute treasure of ours for as long as we can remember. We've barely even cracked the surface of its depths, it's been the subject of numerous sci-fi films, and the truth is that there are decades of research left to do. But here's the funny part. It seems that a lot of our goals regarding the brain require one thing, a full understanding of the connections between the brain's neurons. After all, if you're going to examine a disease or understand the way in which abstract thought functions, you need to be able to track every single signal sent between every single neuron in the brain. And scientists have surprisingly figured out a way to do just that. Let's check it out. The new technique is called an MAP sequence, and it's a total revolution to the current standards of tracking neuronal connections. Today, we use pigmented proteins and ridiculously expensive microscopes to visualize what parts of the brain are firing whenever you formulate a thought or a patient with schizophrenia or autism is examined. And the truth is that actually works pretty well. If you color an enzyme or a protein, and then you watch the way someone's brain is working, you can then begin to associate a particular color with the region of the brain, and then fully understand what parts of the brain are doing what. It's pretty cool, but the new technique is miles better, and it's also way more interesting. MAP sequencing uses a mixture that's full of viruses, and each virus comes with its own unique identifier tag, which is in the form of an RNA sequence sequence. Every single virus has a unique RNA sequence, and then they throw that mixture into the brain, where approximately one virus enters one neuron. This basically means that now every single neuron has its own unique RNA code. Think of a big dictionary where one word maps to a particular neuron. A DNA sequencer can then come on in, read all of the labels, and then form a connectivity matrix which maps one neuron to every single other. It's brilliant. Now, the beautiful thing about this technology is that when you imagine illnesses like schizophrenia or autism or something as general as understanding thought, all of these are issues that stem from a lack of insight into the way the brain is wired. And now someone has just handed us a blueprint of its entire circuitry. It's amazing and brilliant, and this technology is clearly going places, and it's only a matter of time till it completely revolutionizes the way we can look at illness or many of the abstract issues that plague us today. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had actually written a sister article to go along with today's upload that's featured on the Huffington Post, so if you guys would, go ahead and show it some love. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.